Hello to all of you out there, it's Brad, and in case you may or may not know, I'm partially blind. And today I wanted to share with you a brief message about what I feel like the Lord has used in my life to help me in my walk through this world. In case you're not familiar with Scripture, in the ninth chapter of the book of John, which is the fourth book in the New Testament and the final of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus and his disciples meet this man who's born blind. And the disciples ask him, who sinned? Did this man or did his parents? But Jesus answers them saying, neither. It's so that the power of God might be displayed through him. And in the story itself, Jesus does heal the man. But it's his answer to the question of the disciples that has brought me such encouragement. So to close, I would like to say this. If you're already saved and are trusted in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins and the hope of eternal life, no matter what it is you're going through, whether it's a disability, a financial difficulty, or anything in between, let me encourage you to trust that this is part of the Lord's plan for your life. And in Jeremiah 29, 11, the Lord himself says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. And if you have not already done so, I strongly but lovingly urge you to turn to Jesus, confess your sins, repent, and acknowledge him as the Son of God, and that he died on the cross to forgive you for your sins and rose again from the dead for your justification. Accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And if you'll do all this, not only will you be saved from the wrath to come, but you'll be guaranteed a place in heaven when your time on earth is up. Thanks for listening, and God bless.